In today's My Carolina Legal Advice, Stephanie Jenkins from Gaylor Wallace Hunt is here. And today we're talking about child support when there is a separation or a marriage is ending and, and it's designated that the couples have whatever the agreement is for custodial rights. Where does the child support fit into that? Well, all parents have a duty to support their children in North Carolina. The issue is going to be, depending on the custodial arrangement one parent may have, a court mandated or agreed upon between the parties amount of child support that they're supposed to pay for the support of the children every month. And now, oftentimes we see, you know, deadbeat parent, someone who's not keeping up with those child support payments. Is that always going to be an issue? Hopefully not always. It's frequently an issue um, that people won't pay their child support. But North Carolina has a pretty good enforcement system. We have a, um, uh, at least here in Wake County, we have a child support enforcement agency that's dedicated solely to dealing with child support enforcement really? issues. And in regular domestic court, you can try to get child support as well. So the courts are very sensitive to the needs of children in North Carolina. That's great. And it is different state by state. Yes, the way child support is calculated, and I'm certain, though I don't practice in other states, that it, it varies court to court how, how it's dealt with. So when you have a, a couple who is divorcing, what are the nuts and bolts of setting up that child support? Well, it, two things that you need to remember when you're talking about child support in North Carolina, two of the big things that two words you need to know are either guidelines or not guidelines. If you may, if the the combined income of the parent is three hundred thousand dollars or less, yearly income for both of them, of course, income is three hundred or less. You're on the guidelines. If it's above three hundred thousand dollars a year or less, you're off the guidelines. And if it's on the guidelines, you go to um, the guidelines in North Carolina. You can look them up online. Uh, the North Carolina Child Support Guidelines. You plug in how much each parent makes, and oh. it tells you what the obligation for the children is. So, so it is a set fee. It's not just up to somebody's discretion, a judge's discretion, or one of the parties saying, "I want this much a month." It doesn't work like that at all. There's very little discretion. The okay. parties can move to deviate from the guidelines, but a judge is going to go with the guidelines unless there's a really good reason to deviate. Now, when you say off guidelines, it's because there's so much money involved? When there's a lot of money involved, the guidelines don't strictly apply. In those sorts of cases, you, the person seeking support has to show what the actual needs of the children are. And so if you're on the guidelines, you would say, I make X amount of money, you make X amount of money. There might be some child care costs or some medical mm -hmm. um, insurance costs that are figured in there, but it's pretty much a set figure. You pay me X amount of money. If you're off the guidelines, then the person seeking support has to show how much she, he or she actually spends on the children. And how much they need. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is child support at all tax deductible? No, it is not. Unlike spousal support, which you know is another option for um, dependent spouses, but it is child support is not. It's not deductible by the person who pays it. It's not includable in the income of the person who receives it for tax purposes. And what does it when you have a child who is then graduating from college or graduating from high school, moving on to college? They're now officially they're not minors anymore. Does child support still work? in those scenarios where you've got still a student in college? It's not going to be court ordered. Oh, it's parties, voluntary at that point? Parties can obligate themselves to pay child support beyond high school or beyond the age of 20 if the child's still in school, but is still okay, in high school. But, but no, there is no obligation in the state of North Carolina to provide child support after high school even if your child is in college. Stephanie, you said that here in North Carolina there is a, a very robust uh, department that that mm -hmm. manages the child support uh, when there is someone who is errant and does not pay child support what happens um, well it depends on how what agency decides that they need to pay attention to their child support obligation it can be civil or criminal in nature criminal how mm -hmm. does it become criminal um, you can you can be locked up for not paying child support oh, okay. if the judge finds you in criminal contempt for your child support obligation then you can be locked up until you purge by paying the amount that you owe wow okay yeah. so what happens if they don't have it they stay well, in they, jail they will stay in jail for a period of time wow okay. until the judge decides that they don't stay in jail and what happens if that one party moves out of state which is there party? still jurisdiction, the, the person who owes the child support? Frequently, the, if the person paying child support, the supporting 
parent moves out of state, then the person who's trying to enforce the obligation, if, the, if it's not being paid, will have to register it in the state that the person moved to. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And then hope that the agency there continues mm -hmm. to go after this? Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. It can be, th this can be probably something that I'm sure is very emotional and difficult and, and, and sometimes uh, as a lawyer, having your clients working with this, is it sometimes a challenge? It is. The, um, a couple of things that are emotional when dealing with child support. Frequently, if I have a parent who's the primary custodian of the children who's not receiving child support, they want to withhold visitation. Oh, there we go. And the law says you can't do that. Or the converse of that, if I have a person who's supporting and paying child support and the primary custodian is withholding the children, they want to stop paying child support. Right, okay. Law says wow. you can't do that either, that they're not contingent one upon the other, that you have to pay either way and you have to let your children go even if they're not. Getting that, mm -hmm. okay. All right, all of this information is on our website. Just go on to the legal advice column. Thank you again, Stephanie.